IED blasts hits army vehicle in Assam's Tinsukia, three soldiers dead. This week, a powerful blast hit an army vehicle in Digboy in Tinsukia district of Assam, leaving three soldiers dead and three injured, an official said. Corruption, demonetization and documents indicating Prime Minister Modi accepted bribes as chief minister. Though the demonetization drive has gone to much public support, Modi himself has been alleged to have received huge amounts of money from Subrata Roy Sahara Group while he was the CM of Gujarat. Sources from New Delhi suggest that five central agencies found documents that allegedly indicated that Modi has accepted bribes total of rupees 55 crore while another totaled at rupees 40 crore. Tension prevails in northeast India with frequent earthquakes. This week, a moderate earthquake measuring 5.0 on the Richter scale and epicentered at Assam's Karimganj district was felt all over the northeast. Located on the high earthquake frequency region known as the Pacific Ring of Fire, people are getting apprehensive of the increasing frequency and intensity hitting the reason. Naga actor lands role in John Ibrahim's latest action flick. Chokhoi Chuzo, a 32 years old, Chakhe Sang has found a small role in the Bollywood movie Force 2, featuring John Ibrahim and Sunaksi Sinha. A black belt in Thai kickboxing and wushu martial arts, he has so far acted in six to seven local production movies and three Bollywood movies. Lau Majo, India's Bob Dylan. Lau Majo, born in 1947, is a performing artist from Shillong, Meghalaya, and is renowned for his Bob Dylan tribute shows. Inspired by his music, he organized a Dylan's birthday concert in Shillong on 24th May 1972. Since then, he has organized a concert each year on 24th May to pay ovations to Dylan with the shows generating national and international interest. Nechut Daulo, the lecturer from Nagaland who quit his job to create 15,000 jobs across North East. Nechut Daulo, a former lecturer of economics at Baptist College in Nagaland, was awarded the Social Entrepreneur of the Year Award 2016 by the Swapch Foundation. Daulo has helped create over 15,000 jobs across the northeast by training youngsters and helping them become entrepreneurs. In Manipur, world's tallest railway bridge. For a more efficient infrastructural connectivity through railway systems, Union Railways Minister Shures Prabhakar Prabhu has affirmed that the construction work on the tallest railway bridge in the world has already started in Manipur and is being targeted to be completed by March 2018. Human rights issues in northeast India As the northeast states have remained cut off from the mainland for years, human rights violations in these areas have largely gone unnoticed and ignored. Some of the more pressing human rights issues in northeast are Women's rights. A large number of women are trapped into being concubines and prostitutes by people living in the plains and a number of fact deceptive marriages in North East outnumbers the total number of land dispute cases going on the year. Right now, there are opposite value systems existing in the North East and the dominant group forces its views on the minority groups. Climate change effects. In North East India, more than 70% of the population exist in hilly, vulnerable zones and they bear the brunt of unpredictable natural environment. These people have little or no protection from the government to cope with the destruction of their homes and livelihoods by cyclones, landslides, river droughts and floods. Socio-economic issues. Since most of the older generations are not educated, people are not encouraged to study and thus the vicious cycle of illiteracy and resultant poor life standards continue. Water issues. Irrigation and hydroelectricity projects launched by the government are for the benefit of the mainstream, but have caused tribal communities a lot of problems as these deprive them of water. The artificially created drought conditions force entire communities to move from erst while fertile land and into forest. 
Atrocity is committed by armed forces. When incidents of violence broke out between the tribes of Bodo and the migrant Muslim settlers in Kokrajhar in 2012, police were given shot at sight order and many innocent civilians were killed in the subsequent shootings. Between 2006 and 2011, more than 7000 complaints of rape and 11,553 complaints of kidnapping have been reported and most of these were conducted by army men.